I thought if I came to this playground, it would have this like metaphorical significance, like I'm old, but playgrounds are for kids. I'm not sure if it's working. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Happy New Year. Good to be here in 2019, even though it is freezing out here in Atlanta. But I'm not complaining. I'm just happy that it's not raining for once. We had a couple days of sun, so of course I chose to film on a cloudy day when there was no rain. Makes a lot of sense, but at least the light is good. So I had the title of this video as too old for YouTube because this is something that I feel a lot. And I don't know about you, but when I go to car shows or motorcycle meetups and I see all these people here that are in their 20s and I'm walking around with a camera with a dead cat microphone on the top and it just feels like sometimes people are looking at you like, who's this old? Old guy. I'm gonna tell you something right now. This year, in October, I will turn 40. 40. Now, 40 seems pretty old, especially when I'm at these car shows and these motorcycle meetups where the average age is like 20 or Skeletor. Skeletor. And I just thought that that reference is lost on a lot of you. Everything comes to he who waits. Because you got these 20 year olds here with their bikes or their like Scion FRS. And then you got these like 80 year olds here with their Corvettes, which I also have a Corvette. And half the time I'm there, I feel like I'm like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. Like at any moment the people are gonna start lining up behind me and I'm gonna be like, you shall not pass. But is that really true? Is there, is, is there an age limit on YouTube? Is there an expiration date for how old you can be and still film videos? I would say no, because I'm fulfilling a dream that I've had since I was a kid, which was in 1937, and things were a lot different back then. <laughs> But in the 90s, when I was growing up, which was like before America was founded. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known. When I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I wanted to direct movies. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to entertain people. I wanted to make videos that were funny or artistic or dramatic or all of the above. And I thought that would be like a dream job. That would be something that I would love if that was somehow possible. Making people happy through creativity and entertainment is like all I ever wanted. I didn't even think that, that was a thing because I went to college and I got all practical and I became a teacher. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be but it didn't even occur to me that you could actually do this someday, that it would be an industry. And no matter their age, everyone I've ever met in this creative space, and in Atlanta, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that make YouTube videos in Atlanta, whether they're in the car scene or the motorcycle scene or something that I don't even know about. Atlanta is a, is a big market for video right now. The movie industry is booming here, like all the Marvel and Avengers movies are filmed here. But everyone I've ever met here that does video, even casually, has been awesome. It doesn't matter if they're 20 and it doesn't matter if they're older than me. I've never met anyone older than me yet, but I am sure they exist. And it's easy because of that to get up, caught up in the negativity and tell myself that like, oh, I'm too old, you know? I've met like Do It With Dan, Moto Nocity, Chase on Two Wheels, and all these guys are way younger than me. And guys, if you're watching this video right now, I appreciate you giving me time and talking to me like I'm, you know, your equal and not like uh, your dad or something. The point point is you're never too old to do this, unless you are too old to do this because you live in a nursing home or something. And it is the miracle of everlasting life. You want to make, this is why we Yahtzee. Yahtzee, how to play. But do it because you love creativity. Get out there with a camera and, and shoot photos, shoot video, and do it because you love creativity. Not money, not trying to make a viral video or get famous or anything like that. Do it because you 
enjoy making videos and you're fulfilling a dream like I am that you might never have thought was possible. In in the 90s when I was watching movies by like Steven Spielberg or, you know, David Venture wasn't even that famous back then. Seven came out in like 1995. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? You tell me. You tell me. That's not true. That's not true. I, I never thought that this was possible. I thought that that was something that, you know, you went to Hollywood and you worked as a waiter and you spent your whole life going, oh man, I almost had my big break. I'm back. But it wasn't a real thing. YouTube has leveled the playing field. It's allowed people of all ages, even the elderly, to enjoy something, to experience something that they never got to do when they were younger. But get into this and have zero expectations. Even if you think your photography or your video is terrible and, and you're like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough to do this. It's not good enough to be on YouTube. It doesn't matter. Have zero expectations and get into this because I picked up a camera and just started making videos and making edits and learning Premiere Pro just for fun. And you can do it too. It doesn't matter if you're older like I am or you're younger and you're just starting out anyone can do this and it's awesome and it's a ton of fun I know I'm starting to get a little Tony Robbins on you which of course so a lot of you guys probably don't know who Tony Robbins is maybe it'd be better if I said I was starting to get a little Gary V on you you got your perspective <laughs> be happy don't you want to be happy so what are my goals for 2019 because it's a new year right we have to make resolutions we have to make goals we have to set the bar and then try to get over that achieve it uh, surmount it surpass it and other motivational words that you'd find on a little picture that says don't give up and it's got a mountain on it Well, first of all, I think you should set goals. You should start small. It doesn't make any sense for me to be like, hit a million subscribers in 2019. It's not gonna happen. So from a subscriber standpoint, I'd like to hit 50,000. I think that would be, that would be a really good goal. I'd be really proud of myself if I hit 50,000 subscribers just by doing this, just by uploading content all year long. Up to 50. The second goal would be be more consistent with content. I have a really hard time because I have a real job and a family and two girls that have to be taken to practices and have all kinds of hobbies. So it's not always easy to get out and film a video, but I would like to try to be more consistent and really stick to like, an every other week. Every week would be great, but in every other week schedule, I would be extremely happy with that. I would also like to, I would like to increase the quality of the videos. I, I feel like I've made some progress there. Um, I know a little bit about editing. I actually teach a class on video editing in high school, but you can always keep learning. Video editing and, and photography are, are two things that you can never stop learning. You never finish. You always are growing. You're always creating. You're always getting better. So I would like to increase the quality and I would like to write more. I have been really bad about planning videos and about thinking things through and writing down my ideas and just going out and shooting, which is probably why a lot of my videos have stunk. You weren't supposed to agree with that last part. You're supposed to be like, oh no, in the comments, I think they're quite good, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. Hey. And lastly, I'd like to cultivate some local relationships. I think that would be a great short-term goal. There's a lot of people in Atlanta that are in the YouTube community and uh, Instagram, and I feel like I haven't really reached out to them. I've been just trying to go at it on my own as a hobby, and I think it's time to take it more seriously. So that's one of my goals as well. Now, what about medium goals? What about that kind of mid-level that you want to improve, you think you can improve, maybe you get there, maybe you don't, but you definitely have a shot. For medium goals, I would like to create more story-driven content. I have two ideas for series that I've toyed around with and I've been putting off and putting off not this is why we ride just some other stuff some new content that I want to get with other creators and other people in the area and I want to explore those ideas and I really think that would be a great thing to pursue to fulfill me creatively but also to make some really good content for YouTube for you guys who watch this channel because that's what it's all about it's creating entertaining content for you guys and in case you're wondering yes I am sitting on a swing right now and it would be absolutely hysterical if this swing broke. But it didn't. Welcome to L! 
And lastly, what are the big goals? What are the pipe dreams? What are the moon shots? The ideas that I don't think it's possible, I don't think they'll come true, but I'd sure like to try. Well, first of all, 100,000. I would love to have a play button. I just think that would be amazing. It'd make me feel so satisfied with myself. Not for any kind of ego or vanity, I just wanna know that I accomplished that, that I turned this little hobby, this little side gig into something that big. That would be incredible. Secondly, I'd like to create a monthly revenue stream. Now, I know I said it's not all about the money, but the reality of the situation is I have a family, and if I could make more money on a monthly basis, that would be awesome. So I would like to turn this into an endeavor that improves my family's life in some way. And then of course, there's the quality. I said grow quality earlier, but that's a short-term goal, but I'm talking like Peter McKinnon levels of quality because Peter McKinnon could come out to this playground and he could B-roll this thing and it would be incredible. I'm gonna try it. Okay, let me know in the comments, was that even remotely like Peter McKinnon or was that just some sort of sad facsimile? Like if you make a copy of a copy of a copy, like if you took Chris Hemsworth and you copied him 19 times and totally destroyed his face, you'd have me? He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. And then, I'd like to give something back to you guys. I would like to get to the level where the channel was big enough that I felt like I could do something substantial, that I could do something meaningful to give back. I, I don't wanna do like a build series or something like that. Not like, a, not like a show, just something to say thanks or even some small giveaways. That would be fantastic. So guys, that's it. That's my motivational, you're not too old for YouTube video along with 2019 goals and hopes and aspirations and dreams. I know you're probably getting tired of this from a lot of YouTubers, but please press like if you like the video. Comment down below be part of this community that I'm trying to start and hopefully we can all grow together. And if you liked it, consider subscribing as well. I would really appreciate it. 2019, I hope it's gonna be a big year. This is Jax, ride safe, drive safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh my God, the wind and the cars. I keep pausing for all these cars that keep going by. And then this truck drove by and it's like the engine was falling out. This is the last time that I film at the front of the neighborhood. This is ridiculous. How can so many people have places to go at 3 p.m. on a Saturday?